Hello all my fellow fishing people. Glad to see you again. Uh, still working on jumping around from pond to pond trying to get some large mouths. Got some footage here for you. Um, wish it was more. Been I have been working a top toad, a ribbit top toad, trying to get some top toad action. Uh, I've got like five strikes. Got no footage. I haven't caught, hooked one of them. I, 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 I'm so nervous. I jerk so fast. I haven't, I haven't hooked one bass. I've had five big strikes on the ribbit top toad. Uh, last Saturday, I hiked to the front pond there at UNF, JTB, and 295, the one with the two islands. I've always wanted to fish there. I ran into a kayak guy that turned me on to the toads, told me he kayaked in there and has caught several double-digit bass. So I, I hiked back there last Saturday with my poles, found out there's no hardly any way to get to the pond. Um, ended up casting the toad between trees. Uh, luckily, I had my red shag culprit, the old tried and true with me, and I pulled about a 12-inch bass out of there, uh, called that one a day, and hiked back. After that, I left and uh, went and tried a new pond. It's at a park I've been to before, but I've never fished uh, the pond other than I threw my toad a week ago right at dark, uh, and I got one strike, so I knew there was bass in there. So here I come back. And they come back close to dark with real worms, and we'll see how that one works out. So, hope you enjoy the footage, and we'll talk to you next time. Put on my floppy hat so hopefully people can't tell that I'm filming. Tried it last weekend with my frog, and I got a couple of swirls uh, right at dark. So, I'm back this weekend with real. real worms. And I'm going to go ahead since I'm starting off. Go ahead with two. I hear you. Start off with two. See if that'll pick up anything. Go. It's either an alligator or a turtle right there, and I can't tell either way. Uh, it's either an alligator or a uh, either an alligator or a soft shell turtle. I'm having a hard time telling. Hopefully I'm not finding out that fishing close to dark with this is kind of like fishing close to dark with a rubber worm. It don't work out. Because a lot of what they do is they, they go on sight. Got one. I got one. I got one. I didn't get a good hook set on him though, I don't think. Come on, come on boy, come on, come on, I got you, I got you, I knew there was one in here, you tried my frog last week, this is a pretty good one from one of these little ponds, open your mouth and I will help you out buddy, open up, and I will help you out. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not.
trying to use his teeth to cut it, but I can't quite do it. I'm leaning a little there, but it's not as gilled. It's just, just got him deep, and I don't want to hurt him, so he's going to have to go back. Yeah, pretty good one. Go swim. Is that my blood or his? I think that's mine. I really threw that hook in the grass. I really did. It's my blood, ain't it? Yeah. That's me. Thought it was the fish and it's me. That's how you test them. Alright, I'm the first one out of this pond and that was as big, I think, as anyone, I don't know about that one I lost from the Hurricane Irma day, that was a pretty good one. This was a pretty good one too. That was one biting it. That was another one biting it. fish there. That's missing a fish there. Hmm. That's missing a fish. That's missing a fish. Let's get this thing back out there. I saw something hit up close. Right there. I got him. I got one. I got another one. I broke my pole. I broke my pole, but I got him. I just have my eyes slid for her. There's a good one. All right, that's two. There's two. He's wounded. Look at there. He's got a little sore on him. He don't look as healthy as the other one. There you go. There's two. I broke my whole pole now. My whole pole's broken. Oh, it should all be on the end. Okay. Okay. So now, I have got to, I'm gonna try and switch real quick to my other one. I won't be able to cast this far, but I hit them so hard. I set the hook so hard that I did that pole can off. Man. All right. Then tore up the micro. See something got hit over there. Then tore up my micro rig. Now I'm breaking out my regular bass rig, but I ain't gonna be able to cast it very far. So I'm gonna put two on. Get as much weight as I can. I'm gonna fish for about 10 more minutes. I'm getting them on these worms as close to dark. There may be a lot of them in this pond. 
Is it grass carp? Is it something? It's sitting close to the bank. rod now. You, I got you, I got you. Oh yeah. That's three. That's three. Uh-oh, not the old tongue hook. One, two, three, just hit from me walking along this bank. That's three that hit while I walked from there to there. And there's crickets right here. Hmm. I can't see the hook. I'm losing. I'm losing my hair. Get another one here. Four large mouse on the day. I got one at UNF. Hike two miles for a 12 incher. Okay. Then we'll eat this up. There's plenty of them here. That's when I felt ting, 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 almost felt like a brim. He was juggling around his mouth. I gave him just enough time to spin it. See, look at that. Look at that. That's bass all up on that. Oh my gosh, I got one right here. Oh yeah. I was going after another one. I wasn't even after this one. I was trying to reel in so I could cast again, and he got on it. At four. That has a little one. Four. And there's plenty more. Four, four, and plenty more. Just gotta get it on there. Get it on there. That was a pretty good one that was chasing there. I don't know. He was big, but he was, he meant business. He wasn't letting up on that fish. Get them fish up against that bank. That's all they do in these little ponds. I wonder why there's not bigger ones are. Are there? And I'm just playing around with the babies. Up on the edge. I don't know. But I'm gonna have to look out and see them. They stopped hitting. Up 
against the bank and now they have stopped hitting my worm. And it's gotten too dark. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, that's me working the worms. That pond's definitely loaded. Um, but are these ponds loaded with just small bass? I know bass stunt when they're overpopulated, but these evidently have a lot of food because they're healthy little bass. When I catch them, they have nice mouths on them. They don't have the small mouth like a stunted bass. So uh, I'm going to go back there. I'm going to go back there with lures and see if there's some uh, out there. I'm going to try maybe a broken back. Of course, going to try the red shag culprit maybe a, a swim bait so let me get some footage on that hopefully we'll come back next time and i uh, will have some on artificial and definitely we're shooting for larger see you next time